again uh, today I want us to learn transformation of objects or transformation of more beautiful features we have a sports center here as we used in our previous tutorial a proposed sports center here and we want to use this sports center to as the object of our transformation and so as I said you have to select it make it editable by clicking on this pencil button and then you go to modify transform objects in the transformation of objects we have three main features we have rotate move and skill we try to take these ones one after the other so let's go to rotate when we talk of rotate rotate is just the rotation that we know on the cartesian plane that is the movement of all points of a, a feature through an angle in an in an anti-clockwise direction that is for mapping full proof mapping full proof moves all points of an object to be transformed in the anti-clockwise direction if you want it to move in the clockwise direction any angle that you would have wanted it to move should be negative so if you want to move in the clockwise direction 45 degrees it should be minus 45 degrees but if you want to go the default way by moving through the 45 degrees anti-clockwise that one you have to just make it positive and it will move anti-clockwise and after the angle we have a transformation base point when we talk about the transformation base point is the the pivot or the fulcrum where the transformation will occur at that point where the transformation will occur or the pivot where the transformation will occur no movement will occur there because it is the turning point so no movement will occur there so we have this bottom center of objects bottom left top left bottom right and then top right when you talk of center of objects it means the center of the object will be the the pivot point so at that point that point will not move but all other points aside this one will move but the center of the object will not move when you talk of the bottom left the bottom left is here it means all the points on this body will move but this one so this will be the rotation point all the points will move with reference to this one so this will be the rotation point top left is here so that's what, if you choose top left it means all the points will move but not this one this will be the pivot point bottom right is here top right is there so now let's see we want to move 45 degrees by center of object you click on it all this will move anti-clockwise 45 degrees except the midpoint so you check it has moved 45 degrees anti-clockwise except the midpoint control z let's go again rotate 45 degrees let's go to bottom left bottom left is here so it means this one will move 45 degrees to this end this one will move 45 degrees here this will move 45 degrees but this one will not move so this will be the base uh, the base point so this will move 45 degrees this will move 45 degrees and then this will move 45 degrees so let's see bottom left this is the bottom left so okay so that is it control z let's do again rotate top left top left is here so it means this one is all moving anti-clockwise because i've not made the angle negative if i make it negative it means it will move this way instead it will move the clockwise direction instead so uh, top left top left is here i'm moving it at 45 degrees so it means the top left this point will not move this one will move 45 this one will move 45 this one will move 45 let's check that is it control z let's go again rotate 
bottom right bottom right is here so you mean this one will not move but this will move 45 this will move 45 and then this will move 45 bottom right that is it and then the last one rotate top right the top of the top right top right is here so it means this one will not move but all the other points will move by 45 degrees anti-clockwise click ok so that is it so let's check uh, using this one as the base point that is the bottom right let's move in the clockwise direction by making it negative just show you how everything is 45 degrees let's go bottom right let's see oh now all the points now this one will move 45 because it's negative this one will move 45 this one will move 45 but this one will remain static bottom right will be okay so that is it and now for that same transform objects now we are done with the rotate move move is just like the offsetting of object as we did in the previous video so this one the object will move at a distance 300 in the x direction and y at a distance in the x direction when it's uh, when it's positive it's moving in the eastern and northern that is in the positive if it's negative it's moving the other way around so let's make it 300 400 click ok Our object has moved 300-400 by using the Pythagorean theorem 300-400 that is S component of 300 Y component of 400 so we will move the whole object using this uh, constraints that is it and then let's go to skill skill, skill is just a multiplication of the feature itself by a skill factor so maybe you want to enlarge the whole object by a skill factor of 2 and to preserve the aspect ratio you want to uh, you want to maintain the aspect ratio so equal scaling in x and y as is you have to take it if you want take it you have to also give the scaling for both the x and the y so let's go equal scaling in x and y direction and this one too, we have the same thing as we did in the routine center of object. It means center of object. If you see it, this will be the center of object, and it will all move by that skill. It will all move by that skill. By when it's bottom left, it means it's here, and then the scaling this will remain the base point, and then this will be multiplied by two. So this will go here, and then the y2 will be multiplied by two. So this will go here. This will be the base point. This will not move when it turns this way. And it comes the the bottom left this will no move or this will not be skilled this will be the zero and then this will be multiplied by two and then this will be multiplied by two let's make let's see an example uh, let's see bottom left bottom left is here skill by two and let's see how it will be you see this has no move but this one got multiplied by two this one got multiplied by two let's change it to this one too uh, skill let's go to bottom right so it means this will be the origin and then this will be multiplied by 2 and then this will be multiplied by 2 so let's go by 2 That is it. That has been done. That is it. And then we can do a combination of all these by using transformation one, transformation two, and transformation three. That is by each transformation we take one of these rotate, move, and scale. This is, this is to show that the order is really important. If the order 
is wrong. A different result will begin if a person has the same constraint but a different order. So let's see. Now let's go to the modify. Transform objects. Let's rotate it at 90. Center of object. Let's do bottom right. And then let's move it by 300, 400, 300. 400 and then let's scale it by 2 keeping the aspect ratio by equal scaling next and y direction still bottom right let's see this what is this look at where each point is lying let's do ctrl z let's do a different thing by scaling it Scaling it by a factor of two. Move by 300, 400. And then now we rotate it by 90. Bottom right. Bottom right. Let's see. See, it's a different thing altogether. Though we are having the same constraints, but it's a different thing altogether. So that is what we try to mean that uh, though you might have the, the same constraint, but if the order is not the same, you get a different result. Thank you so much for your time. This is transformation of objects. You can try it, you know, try it on any other feature, such as a line, polyline, or a point. Thank you so much. See you again at another time. Bye.